All right, guys, again, still got my crappy phone, uh, so I'm trying to find a good spot to not get any glare. So uh, this weekend, uh, I went bracket racing for the first time this season. Um, the car ran really good. We clicked off our best 60 foot. Uh, there was a couple of quarter mile time runs uh, for the most part uh, during the brackets. We were running eighth for mod ET, which would be IHRA. Uh, and we went out first round, um, actually no, went out second round on Saturday and on Sunday, we went into the third round and then it rained and our day was pretty much over because the track was being run by a baboon. Uh, it was just bad. For the car count that we have in the classes, it should have not taken that long, but they were trying to squeeze in test and tune along with brackets and it just does not work out for anybody. So um, I'll tell you, our best run was like an 1170 with a 154 60 foot at 110 miles per hour it was a very uh mildly humid day i think it was about 40 percent humidity but the density altitude was over 2000 for that day and on sunday had i stayed for time runs the car probably would have clicked off it's typical like 1160 and if it was even colder at night which they don't run at night there on sundays i probably would have seen an 11 5 based off of the 60 foot, um, but the car absolutely loves the gear and it actually became even more consistent. Um, so our spread between all of our time runs and I was focusing on the eighth uh, was a total of 0.06. That was all of our variation from our very first time run of the day on Saturday to our very last round of elimination on Sunday uh, with the slowest pass being the first one of the day, which in the eighth was a 743. Um, and it, it, the car ran absolutely great. No issues, uh, not that any foreseeable problems. So we're ready for our next points race, which is actually in two weeks at the other track. We don't know, me and my buddy, when I say we, I mean me and my buddy. I don't know if we're going to go back to run that track. Um, just because of the way they ran the program. It just was not ideal at all. So the verdict with the 430 gear, I think it definitely made the car more consistent. I have to put, I have to like draw another spreadsheet from past days to compare the 390 to the 430 because my buddy told me with the 430, I may have actually gained more consistency than anything, but we did see a nice jump in the 60 foot and I, really can't complain um, so really I think uh, we're kind of gearing up for a, maybe a decent year we'll see what happens hopefully everything holds together we'll see what the other track brings my biggest problem at the track we ran at was actually just catching a consistent light I was kind of all over the place I would either catch a great light or I was making sandwiches at the starting line so my best uh, my, my absolute best reaction time of the weekend was in 016 and then I got a bunch of 030 lights like 031, 036, 035 and then I would also do like a 153 and a 201 and a 164 and it would vary like between. So I need to work, at, the rollout at that track is a little tricky. I think my front tires are still a variable that I'm not liking because I have the SR Mickey Thompson front runners. It's a radial. They just don't hold the weight. And when you're talking about rollout, you're talking about the circumference of the tire to how long it's going to take for it to trip the beams. And I think it's just really inconsistent with my car because of the tire and the fact that it really bulges out a lot. I need a tire that can hold the weight and um, I just don't want to spend the money right now. We're gonna, I'm going to see. And I really don't want to change anything right now. It's, it's, I didn't have enough testing or enough time to really want to get the tires and put the effort in. So I'm going to run it with the tires that I have now. And we're going to see what it brings. Because last year at the track that I ran points at, everything uh, towards the end of the year really started to come together. But the last three races of the year were kind of a uh, shit show 
for lack of better terms, where we would have oil downs, cleanups, then the rain or whatever. And uh, you know, the the I think the last race of the year there was uh, just they called it a day after our time run because we didn't get to make any runs that day, and it was the last points race of the year. And I would have liked to bump up in points, but I missed two races, and I worked my way through a forty car. Uh, sheet and I ended up in 15th uh, which isn't bad had I not missed any races and at least staged and made my first round of elimination I would have been in the top 10 of points but neither here nor there because we didn't do it so uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to add a couple of videos a couple of pictures from the weekend um, and I'm going to turn the camera around and talk to you guys real fast about what I got going on today so today I'm working on the Buick you could see I got little bits of tape throughout. I brought my stud welder home. I'm gonna pull a couple of dents. And since there's no real gauged interest in this project and body work, again, I think most people are interested in the crap that I build because I think there's a potential for explosions there and people, that's, that's what YouTube is all about now. It's, it's become like reality TV where you're just waiting for the drama and that's kind of what it's all about. So like you get all these pages, like there's a lot of people I follow on YouTube and it's just like the never ending saga of bullshit where they don't finish anything. And I'm sure you guys have heard me bitch enough about it. And um, so really, I'm not really going to dive into giving you any, any real, I mean, I'll show the progress as I go, but I'm just kind of bundling stuff up as I hear more like a vlog or something. So it's just kind of is what it is. But uh, I am pulling dents out today. I'm waiting on material. I should have had it last week, but there was a error and we didn't get it. Uh, but I have everything on order and I should hopefully have it tomorrow. But the goal is still going to be to get the front end done because the front third of the car is going to be the one that gets completed the quickest. And then the doors are going to be the second quickest. And then I'm going to do the roof. And then the quarters, which are going to be the most extensive, are going to be done last. So I think this project's going to move fairly fast uh, after blocking it and really realizing that everything is actually in really, really good shape. So um, it, you guys got to let me know if you want to see anything. If not, I'm not going to do it because, again, I'm not like a pro YouTuber. I'm just an idiot in the garage. And I loosely use the term idiot because there's a lot of other idiots out there. But, I mean, we're all just kind of oafs out here. So uh, at the end of the day... I'm just coming out here, killing some time. Uh, it's like uh, mechanical meditation here. I, I, uh, I'm kind of enjoying this, and I didn't get to touch it um, in the last three or four days. But I'm um, back at it this week, and then next week, and hopefully by the end of next week, we'll have some good progress. Uh, I might end up taking these doors into the shop to do the patch welding because... I know I did mention about the, sil the silicon bronze MIG brazing for the patches on the back, and that's great. But for the folds in the front door, I really want to MIG weld them because it is a tough area. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'll let you guys go. I'm going to add stuff. Enjoy. <laughs> 